Welcome back. Welcome back to the Carousel Casino. And welcome back as a slightly taller com combatant there in Randomer compared by Prince Luke. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, Prince has got a lot of support here as well. Obviously, a lot of fans wearing the MP t shirts. I have to try and get myself a t shirt after as well. Join the fan club. But let's see what he's got. I mean, look, we are talking three years out of the ring, and Barry, I mean, that, that's, that's a huge amount of time out of the ring. It really Absolutely. is. I'm not quite sure what he's been doing since that time. I'm not sure if he's tried um, mixed martial arts or kept busy. Still looks in good shape, but I mean, that sharpness isn't going to be there. It really isn't. And I, I wonder if he would have preferred to maybe have a six or eight rounder, four rounds. It's difficult to get going in four rounds when you've been out of the ring for that long. Long arms of uh, the young man from uh, southern areas. He's looking quite uh, difficult to get that jab going because he can't get inside him, the man from Pretoria. Yeah, I mean, Randima's got a huge reach advantage. I mean, he really could just do that, jab all night and just stay on the outside. It's, it's for Prince Lowe to use that boxing skill again, 200 plus amateur fights, which is a huge amount of amateur fights. I mean, you don't really hear those kind of numbers anymore. People turn pro very quickly now just to earn the money. So he stayed amateur for a long time, so he should use all that experience he's got. Down there, the glove definitely touched. That's a knockdown. So it's a knockdown. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the referee's done. The glove touch there. Glove touch to canvas. I don't know if he thinks maybe there was a, a triple legs. That was interesting. I thought he'd taken a punch. Prince Lowe is fighting from a southpaw stance. Yeah. I did thought it was. I, I thought it was orthodox. He's fighting from a southpaw stance, which is interesting. <laughs> See, I always, I always look at amateurs that have stayed amateur for so long. They, some struggle to turn into good pros. That's because they're used to that kind of amateur style of point scoring, which is in and out. And I'm looking at Prince Lowe here, and he's, he's still kind of got that about him, where he's on the back foot just trying to score points. Trying to get inside and mix it, and I don't think that's the right tactics at all. It's frustrating because you can't get inside, so that's what you're inclined to do, which opens yourself up. Last 30 seconds here of this very first round, and it's flown by this first round. Unbelievable. Prisler nearly running over the referee. Yeah, there. yeah a bit of come dancing there for a minute, wasn't it? Round. I've scored that round to Randima. I feel like he landed the cleaner shots. Again, it was a scruffy round, but he landed the cleaner shots. If I'm in the corner of Prince, though, I've got to tell you've got to tell him to attack the body. Yeah. He's got to attack that body, Randima. There's so much body there to attack. He's got, he's got to get under that big left, though, because uh, yeah. at the moment, a jab is, is, I suppose, dominating, isn't it, from Randima, because he's just so long. He is very, long very and gangly, long. Isn't he? I mean, for a featherweight, he's extremely long. See, that was the knockdown. He's, he's glove touched. Let's have a look at it again. Is, is that a knockdown, Barry? I mean, uh, there were a tangle of feet, I think. Yeah. But for me, it's a knockdown. I think the referee probably was looking down and saw the feet because it was a tangle. He's almost got tripped up, isn't he, as well, when a punch came in. And in a, four, in a four round fight, I mean, that, that could you be don't that. Want, oh, you're gone. 10 8 in a four round you're fight. Gone. You're gone. It's a long, long way back. Absolutely. You've got to get one of them yourself or not the blow out. Yeah. Again, polar opposites here completely. You've got Prince Lowe who's not fought for three years. You've got Randima who had four fights in 2018. You've got someone that's clearly active and clearly staying in the gym a lot. And you've got Prince Lowe that, you know, again, it'll be good to ask him why, why the, the, the long time out the ring. Some people will say, okay, it keeps him fresh. No, I think he was doing some academic so, okay. side of his life, and I think that's what he wanted to do, just stay out, get his academics over and done with. Loved boxing, still stayed in, in the gym.
in Pretoria. Still keeping fit. At Loftus, Loftus first up by the rugby grounds where the gym is. And it's a gymnasium that eventually they said, OK, he said, I'd like to fight again. So when he came to us, his license was still in existence, but we had to talk to BSA to make sure that it was still current, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and look, he's still young. 29 isn't old by any stretch of the imagination. He's not got a lot of wear and tear on the body at all, only three fights, so there is still a lot in the tank, but I guess he has to win this one. Good shot from Randima. It's definitely in here. It really is. The crowd really is on us. Got himself out of the corner there, right above us. Got himself off the ropes. Not as somebody that definitely knows a little bit about boxing you. Otherwise, you get tied on the ropes with a big man or a taller man than you, you can be in trouble. He's having to work. Very hard though for this is, is Prince I mean, every minute of every round, Randini just walking him down. Very, very difficult work here. And although it's only a four rounder, he will feel this in the lungs right now. Randini is clearly trying to set up that big right hand. He, he needs to disguise that and, and throw that jab. He's got a good jab, is Randini. Very long rangey jab, but right now he's just head hunting. He, he's not doing much else. And, and to Will in the corner, has got to tell him to start using that jab. He can't just stick it out like that. He's got to use it. Prinslow using the experience here, holding. Got to be careful, doesn't want a point taken away in a four-rounder. Randima just stops and stares at Prinslow in the corner. Alan Tewell doesn't like that. Not sure why he did that at all. No, I must admit, I, I couldn't see it either, but it, it's interesting to note that they're both puffing. That they both are. They're both puffing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a good comeback fight for Prince. I mean, you're not going to chuck him in with anyone higher than this. I mean, you've no, got a guy who's got a mixed record here, two wins, two losses. If anything at all, I think it's probably a slight mismatch in size and yeah. height. Yeah. Could have got him another boxer, his size, his height. I think the next time around, that's what you've got to look for. Prince Lou is giving his, his, I suppose he's all, but he just can't get inside that very long reach. Yeah. And, and the height. Redeemer needs to start looking for the single shots. Yeah. Um, he's not throwing any combinations at all so far. That's a nice little right hand. Again, though, he almost enjoys his work too much. Every time he lands a right, he puts his hands down and all smiles at it. It's not enough. Nice little body shot from Redeemer. They're trying to mix it up a little bit. He's mixed up a bit more in this round. He's gone to the head, he's gone to the body. Not much at all from Prince Lowe in this round. Got caught coming in as well to Prince Lowe. That's the one again. you're talking about. Obviously, clearly wants to come dance with the fighters. But good work here from Randima in this round. A lot better. Landed a good, again, that nice straight right. Prince Lowe is struggling to come in. He wants to try and come in, but even when he does come in, I don't know if he's a stronger guy up close. But he's, 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 he's finding it really hard to get underneath that jab. Look, you can see he's trying to work it out, but he's having difficulties. 
He might have to take one to get in. That's the one you guys talked about, the one where he lets, lets the left go. Before he can let the right go, he's got to get under it. Or inside it more. Last minute of this round number three. Remember, this is only a four-round fight in the featherweight division. Prince Mo's been at the ring for a long time. Good amateur background, taking on the very, very rangy Randima here from the Alan Tao gym. Again, a very good gym, very experienced. Landed his best shot of the fight, though. The good little right hand, though, from Prince Mo. He'll take confidence that he can land those shots. Randima answered with a nice little right and left of his own. I think that might have hurt Prince Mo, that left and right. It's a good shot from Mandima. He really is closing out this round very well. And it's a very, very solid round for him as well. Another big shot from Mandima. Crowd go wild in here. It's another round for Mandima. I've got him almost a shot out now as well. 10-9, 10-9 across the board. Yeah, and in fact, all he's got to do now is just keep jabbing. Then you have to throw another punch. You yeah. just keep jabbing his way through to win this win this bout. But at the end of the day, when, he, when he's when he's doing it, he's going to make sure that he doesn't let Prince, Prince do inside. Yeah. He gets inside. He still hit him with a very good right. Yeah, he lands on a good little counter right hook. Not enough though, is no. it? It's a single shot. It's not enough. Randima definitely up the work rate in that Absolutely. round. That's the whole point. And again, that's a guy that's been active in 2018. He's been active. Lovely scene here. The carousel. Oh. It really is. It, it does remind me of that York Hall Bethlehem Green in London. <laughs> Fourth and final round. Prince definitely needs a knockdown or a knockout, I think. I actually don't think a knockdown will be enough. But it's no. the first time he's come fight, fighting on the front foot, so he knows he needs something here. I think that when you've been out the ring, you've got to judge yourself. You're taking punishment. It's different than being in a gym doing four rounds. If someone's throwing punches back at you, you're not in the gloves and no one's trying punches. So now he thinks, OK, I've done three. I'm not feeling too bad. Let me see if I'm good on the front yeah, foot. Agreed. And he's definitely up the work rate in this round so far. Some of his best work in this round. He went to the body early as well. And that's something that they really should have started doing from early. Should have gone to the body from round number one. You look at the body. And you can attack that body of Rothy. Randima tries to go to the body as well now. Prince Lowe felt that, that's why he's holding. He felt that a bit smart, experienced there, decided to hold. Big gulp of breath as well, I can see, from both. You see both boxers are really quite exhausted because all of a sudden, you'll see that uh, Randima's right hand that he likes to throw is now a bit a bit flat. It's, it's almost a slap now. That's a sign of boxers not keeping his glove tight, he's releasing it, and he's slapping more than actually punching. But he's got this fight towed up, there's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think um Frisco's done a lot better in this round, but it's not enough. No. Now, again, he's breathing heavily. He's on the back foot. He's starting on the front foot. Randima's the one walking him down now. But, I mean, you never know, Barry. The first round was difficult to score. You can easily give this round to Prinslow, so you never know. We could have a draw here. Look, I, I think Randima's done enough to win, so but I wouldn't be shocked if the judges gave Prinslow the first round. 
and then this round, and then we have it 2 2. You're setting it up nicely. I'm setting up nicely <laughs> for a draw. I, I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, I must admit, I've got it a bit one sided except for this round, which I think Prince Lou has gathered his senses and thought, I'm, quite, I'm fitter than I thought I was. Look at these combinations. Oh, good stuff. So, Landed a naughty little punch at the end of the round yeah. in Prinslow. Yeah. I have it three rounds to one. Yeah, 39-37. Um, yeah, 39-37 for me as well. But I think his next fight, Prinslow will come back because he's enjoyed it. I know he's enjoyed this fight. And looking at him and looking at seeing his uh, breathing heavy. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it's, it, for him, it's not a case of cockwebs, it's rust. He's been out the ring three years, so it's getting the rust off. But it's a good four rounder for him. He would have liked it, he would have liked coming here at the carousel. So we've had world title fights here, some of South Africans best have fought here. It's a good experience for him as well. His fan base loved this. His fan so, base is down the road in Pretoria, so he's not so he's only 60 kilometers away. Again, I am trying, I'm going to try and get one of those MP t-shirts on the way out if I can. <laughs> but no, great action as well. Yeah, lovely, really good. So, uh, I think we've had, what, three, three good fights so far? Three very good fights so far. All different, completely different. Completely different. Um, Surprise, I would fight was still probably the fight so far, but I still think we're going to beat that with some of the title fights we've got coming up. And this one was interesting as well. Again, a guy that has been out of the ring three years and decided to come back in Prince Low against Randimo, who's had four fights in 2018. Who will get the decision? Yeah, it's an interesting one. I, I think I think it should be uh, Randima, and I would classify that over a four round as reasonably, reasonably, uh, what? Confident performance. Yep. Com confident performance, I think, basically. It, it was confident. I mean, look, I don't like the way he fights with his hands down, but that's his style. Um, he can use his, his reach and jab a lot more. And when he does put his punches together, I think we saw that in round number three, he can really, really work. He's clearly a fit guy. I mean, again, four fights from 2018. He's clearly got the engine. And he could go to six rounders, maybe even eight rounders next. He, he's obviously got the engine for it. Yeah, I think I think Martin Prince Lou probably on his, you know, comeback trail, and that's what he wants to do. He must match him with a similar sort of fighter next time. In other yeah. words, similar to him, to give himself a better opportunity. Because unfortunately, Randima was just a little bit too too long in his in his reach. Agreed. So let's find out what the judges say. Let's find out what the points say, and let's see if, how far off we were. We were really tight on our scorecard, but I suppose convincing but tight, if that makes sense. Let's find out exactly what the story is. And uh, Devon, give us a scorecard, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both these fighters a massive round of applause. Bell to bell action. It went the distance of four rounds, and here are your judges' score totals. All three judges scored about 39 to 37. To your winner by way of unanimous decision victory, Rirose Randima. Now we thought that, we thought it was that. Yeah, it's exactly where we had it as well, 39 37. It's always good to see the judges get it correct, and they did get it correct. But, but no shame for Prince Lerman. Again, out of the ring a long, long time. I like what he's doing, opening the rope for Randima. 